the first time that I uh, met the Queen was visiting London. She reminded me very much of my grandmother, <laughs> which uh, surprised me, not just in appearance, but also in manner. Very gracious, but also no nonsense. Wry sense of humor. She could not have been more kind uh, or thoughtful to, to me and Michelle. Shortly thereafter, Michelle and Malia and Sasha, my two daughters, uh, had occasion to go back uh, to England. Buckingham Palace reached out, and uh, Her Majesty had invited Michelle and the two girls to tea. She had then offered uh, the girls to drive in her golden carriage around the grounds of Buckingham Palace. Uh, it, it was the sort of uh, generosity uh, and uh, consideration that left a mark uh, in my daughter's lives uh, uh, that, uh, that's still there. The Queen was an excellent listener. She had a genuine curiosity, although she was uh, impatient to get to the point. This is in 2011, and we had been invited to a state dinner at Buckingham Palace. State dinners at Buckingham Palace a little different than state dinners everywhere else. The queen was dressed up quite a bit for the state dinner. <laughs> and uh, it was a little bit uh, concerning for Michelle because as a gift to uh, her, her majesty, uh, Michelle had selected a small, modest uh, brooch of nominal value. We reciprocated the following evening with a dinner that we hosted at uh, the American Embassy. But the one thing we immediately notice is that she's wearing the brooch that Michelle had given. And it was an example of the subtle uh, thoughtfulness uh, that she consistently displayed, not just to us, but to everybody who she interacted with. She was very mindful of uh, guests at Buckingham Palace not overstaying their welcome. She was looking at her watch and at some point said, well, okay, it's time to go. And uh, the same was true uh, as a guest. She wasn't interested in overstaying her welcome. She looked at her, at her watch at a certain point and said, all right, uh, I, I think we need to wrap this up. The combination of a sense of duty and a, a clear understanding of her role uh, as a symbol for a nation and as the carrier of a certain set of values uh, combined with a, a very human quality of, of kindness and consideration. Um, I, I think that's what made her so beloved, not just uh, in Great Britain, but uh, uh, around the world.